So Sean, we're here on the gantry where we uh, we had some good times throughout the season. Not too many, it has to be said. It's a disappointing season overall, obviously. Goes without saying, but uh, good to be. Always nice to be here at the cottage and uh, looking back at uh, what, as I say, was a disappointing season. It started that way. I think we probably knew from the beginning with so many new players coming in, it was going to be difficult. We got off to a terrible start, really, and uh, and it was a long and hard season. We probably, in the end, you know managed to stay up was about the best we could hope for yeah, after the start we had I think. After the start we had obviously what one point from eight games I think we would have bitten anyone's hand off to stay in the league obviously we, we mentioned Wigan they've gone down they won the FA Cup two years ago three years ago whatever it was Yeah. so I think to stay in the league uh, not many positives to come out of the season I think the positives are the young players coming through having that see this is what we have to put up with as well the, the planes going over the wind the rain it's not easy up here, but uh, <laughs> I think the young players coming through, I think we conceded a lot of goals, but Bettinelli was probably one of our better players to come yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, I think probably, to be fair, I think the fans got it spot on with the, the player of the season. You couldn't look past Ross McCormack, really. Yeah. The goals, the, the assists, the overall contribution. He, he took yeah. over a skipper a number of times. He had a great season. You've got to make him player of the season. i go along with it. But yeah. I'd say, like you, the only one who, who maybe could have threatened winning it was Marcus I think he had a great season for him for a yeah. young keeper coming in untried unproven under pressure in a side that was you know conceding yeah. goals from left right and centre a lot of people would blame the goalie in the back four but I think as collective unit we need to we need to improve there's there's no sugar coating mean, next season needs to be a time to you know stop conceding goals like I say back to back or getting relegated we conceded over 70 odd goals mm. this season we last, conceded over yeah, 70 odd goals yeah last two seasons have been a nightmare and we're scoring goals it's just at the other end so yeah I don't think we'll ever I mean we've no problem scoring goals Ross McCormack Matt Smith did really well when he came back in yeah. Hugo Rodiega for a spell in the season had probably his best goal scoring ratio certainly for a long time yeah. I think we'll always score goals Corley for me as well obviously yeah. he's, he's one of the power I do like, like his work ethic runs the channel as well a uh, bit unlucky in front of goals I uh, think he could have started a lot more games. I think he scored a couple of goals and then maybe he was dropped for a game, which I found a bit bizarre. But uh, I think he's worked great. I think he could be one to score 20 plus goals given, given yeah, the games. Me got, personally, yeah. yeah. Just got called up to the provisional under 21 squad as well. Yeah. Whether he goes or not, it, it doesn't really matter because he's been noticed for what he's doing. He's a young lad. Yeah, he's a number of young potential. lads that have come in. And yeah. I think George Williams as well. He's, he came in, done well, works his socks off. Uh, final ball a little bit sometimes let him down but he got in the uh, the Welsh national team as well so that yeah, was, that was good well, and, and uh, really the one who made the biggest impact I thought was Lasser who unfortunately I mean he only played half the games but yeah. I think prior to the, the initial hamstring injury he got uh, I, he was probably our most influential player yeah so, uh, by uh, Christmas right, he would have been our player of the year yeah and he came third I think in the poll having only played half of the games yeah. so you could, but you can understand why some people would have voted for him because when he was Really at yeah. it. I thought he was, as I say, our most influential player. He was. He, he was had brilliant. the energy, didn't he, in the team? He'd, he'd lift. We'd be up here, obviously, and you'd see him box to box, winning tackles. And, and the fans ain't silly. They know when someone's running into the ground for the for the side for the cause. And he was that player, wasn't he? And he came back from injury. I think. I think the mistake maybe he came back a bit too soon in a cup game that maybe he didn't need to play in, and then he, he drifted in and out of the side, but. He can be proud of what he'd done in the first part of the season. Yeah, I thought it was terrific. And as you say, we've got George Williams coming back, we've got Emerson Hyman who, who will feature more, I would think, next season. Quality yeah. young player. So I think, as you say, the, the, the positive thing was the input the young players had and the fact that this coming season they're going to be a year older, they're going to be stronger, they've got some games under their belt. And I think that is the most positive thing. If Kit can bring in you know, half a dozen experienced players yeah. to, to strengthen and bolster the squad, we definitely need a lot more yeah. experienced, proven championship players. But to add to that, you know, there's no doubt. I think this crop of young players we've got is more than good enough. It's the best group of young players we've had at the club, probably. Yeah, all to come through at the same side, obviously. Yeah. Hyman, not even mentioned Patrick Roberts. It's yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. We've said time and time again up here, we'd, we'd like to see him play a little bit more. Yeah. Get that little bit more experience. Uh, but that year, maybe in and out the side, mentally, he might do him good. You know, he might get his head down pre-season, work his socks off. See how pre-season goes, hit the ground running. You've got Dembele as well, in and out the yeah. side, scores yeah. goals. Yeah. Uh, certain players that that were injured most of the last year. I look, I look at the, the team sheet and you see people like Lionel Cole, we've yeah. got from Man United, who's just had a all, terrible yeah. season yeah. through injury. Adam Taggart. That's like a, that's like a new, yeah. new signing. Yeah, yeah. If he gets a good 
the main thing I think for the young players is to get a good pre-season under your belt. I think my best pre-season was under Tigana. The best pre-season we had, we, we worked our socks off, uh, good team spirit, and then we hit the ground running when we started the season. Like I say, go back to the first game of the season at Ipswich, it just seemed like we move, had no yeah. experience, it, all the players just thrown together. We had uh, Burgess, who was a centre up and holding midfield. Yes, that's right, yeah. And you had Scott Parker, but outside of Scott Parker, the other 10 players, I think we were saying it had one start between them. Moussa Dembele yeah. had started the game. So you're yeah. going into the season, your opening game of the season, with the captain, obviously an experienced player who'd figured yeah. the previous season, nobody else, or barely anyone else, would have a start, you know, and yeah. I just think we. That, that told its own story. I think yeah. we knew then it was going to be difficult. You're hoping for the best. But to go in with that many, I mean, it's been proven time and time again, you can't bring in that many new players. And certainly, uh, you know, a lot of foreign players are coming to the country the first time. Mm -hmm. So they're not only playing for a new club in a new division, they're playing in a new country. And it was never going to work. I mean, players take time mm. to settle, you know, even at the, if they were the best 11 players in the world. Yeah. You know, to, to gel and to blend together as a team and, and, and for it to work, it was a hell of a gamble. Yeah. I think. You yeah. need the experience in it. It's proven every side that gets promoted has got good experience in this league. Yeah. And we had lack of experience. That's why we that's why we're so oh I am optimistic for next season. The season under their belt, all in the championship. You know what it's, it's about. It's a tough league. Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday or Saturday, Wednesday. Hmm. It's a tough league. Yeah, and it won't be it won't be easy next season. But I think with the I think when you look back when uh, when uh, Roy came in that time from and Laurie Sanchez and the club was in a bit of disarray and it took, I think if you look back, I'm fairly certain in his first 15, 16 games, something like that, Roy Hudson only won a couple because it, you know, it, it took time, he got us through, he got us the great escape last game of the season, fantastic and then he brought in four or five players, five or six players in, in the summer, his own players, I mean Brader Hangland obviously we, we'd never heard of but uh, he brought in the Bobby Zamoras and the Andy Johnsons, people like that, made a change to the system, got it organised and the following season it, it went really well and I don't see why we can't do something similar next season. If we if Kit can bring yeah. in four or five recognised players, target because I thought the players who came in, the players we got in late on loan, were the right sort of players. Yeah. You know, you take all three of them I think if, if they became yeah, available. Guthrie, they, yeah. husband, take husband now. Yeah, yeah. You definitely take James Husband. So those sort of players are out there. If we can get some of them that sort of uh, that sort of standard bring in I don't know, five or six yeah. players like that. Maybe even go to the Premier League, get some on loan, a couple of proven quality yeah. players that aren't going to get a game at Premier League level. We do need to make changes, but I don't think wholesale, you can't be starting with you know, 10 players from all leagues all over Europe that have never played together mm. and never played in England and never played in the Championship. But we did so signs though. There was a few home games, I think, the mid uh, Friday games, I think. Who do we... Charlton. Charlton, yeah. Bolton. We beat Bolton 4-0. Sheffield think Kit Wednesday. Because we did have that lift when Kit first took over, yeah. as you expect sometimes with a new manager. But they were probably two of our best performances, certainly at home. The 4-0 against yeah. Bolton, 2-0 against Charlton. And for the first few months, you know, I, I think we were doing okay. There was there was definite improvement there. Yeah. The players were getting used to each other. Unfortunately, then it, it slipped away. Because you know. of, of the consistency, well, yeah. I think we did February and March. We didn't go on a four or five game winning spell. You know, without it. No, never. Because draws in this league, I know it's good. If you can go away and draw, and then come back and win your home games, you stand a good chance of being up there at the top of the season. But we maybe win one lose two, draw one, it, it yeah, just, there was wasn't no any consistency and no. that, like say to go back and some of the away games where we scored, I don't know, three goals in, which yeah, game was it, Nottingham Forest? Wigan, Nottingham Forest, there's three that we scored three goals and we didn't win any of them because we let in three, yeah. we had two draws and we lost five three at Nottingham Forest and yet if you can go away from home and score three goals, so as I say, that, and there was times, I look back at some of the highlights, people say we didn't play any good football this season, when you look back at some of the goals we scored, yeah. you know, there were some brilliant goals scored and there was some lovely football played. But in 15, 20 minute spells, yeah. we didn't dominate games, we didn't win games we should have won. Yeah, it'd be in, we'd play one half really well and yeah. come out the second half and not turn up. Not in the forest at home would probably yeah. be. Yeah, oh, there was a few. You know, and, and what we also, as you were saying, Sean, earlier to me, was about the, you know, you, you need to show that bit of character as well. I mean, we very rarely turned a, a result around. You know, once we went behind. Yeah, you see, yeah, little things, I think, as a team, you'll grow and learn. You know, we look back and think, do you know what? things went against us we didn't turn up we didn't pull together and I think that's that's those kind of things can only get better if you gel the team pre-season get all the players together everyone's in the same script Kit gets the players in he wants gets the players out it's a harsh the players he doesn't want get them out they don't want to play for Fulham 
yeah. go, you know, get rid. Yeah. Everyone's got to be on the same page, and I think that's why pre season is, is important. We need to get the players he wants in tr- early as possible so they can bed in, they go away, the team spirit gets stronger, pull everyone together, and then see where it goes. I'm, I'm not saying that's the, the, ma- the massive part of it, but if, if the, the team are together and on the same page it does it goes a long way yeah and I think that's probably the key if we can bring in those five or six players or four or five players however many he yeah. feels he needs but they've got to be the right sort of player not just good enough players you know yeah. not just in terms of ability but in terms of blending in with the rest of the team in terms of fitting in with the club uh, and, and what Fulham's about and wanting to achieve what yeah. Fulham want to achieve you know rather than just they could be better players some of them but not as suitable if you know what I mean yeah, I think it's course, key yeah. that we get the right sort so of players a big in. job for the recruitment team <laughs> it is I think recruitment is key to it all Sean but as I say I think the players who came in on loan towards the end of the season had been identified and they, they were the right sort of players Yeah. so if, if we can bring in the right sort of players and add to that the youngsters that we've got who, who we've all agreed are, have got the ability and most of them seem to have the right temperament and, and the right attitude yeah. the vast majority of them are going to be quality players in, over the coming years so yeah. if we can get the right balance and the right blend, there's okay, no yeah. reason, you know, hopefully, and get off to a good start and, as you say, some sign of consistency. And I know we probably think that every season, all football fans think that, but there's no reason why next season we can't at yeah, least put a challenge in. You Definitely. Know. You know, when you look at the season as a whole, uh, there wasn't too many teams that I felt when they came to the cottage were like, wow, this team, this team are miles ahead of us. Yeah. I'd say Bournemouth... Watford. Maybe maybe yeah. Watford, yeah, were were probably deserved to go up. The rest, like you look at uh, in and amongst it, Brentford, Ipswich, yeah, Wolves, Norwich, yeah, Norwich. Yeah. No reason why we can't achieve. Yeah, what those no clubs reason achieve. whatsoever. We've a good start. I'll go back to some of the games. Uh, Norwich, we beat them. Yeah, we beat Derby when they were top of the table. Derby, you know, although a lot of people would say they didn't have a new one up front. Yeah, yeah. But even so, that yeah, was a decent still performance. Got, yeah. If you look at Bolton, Sheffield Wednesday, the 4-0, all right, we rode our luck a little bit, I think, in the first half, if you remember rightly, but that was a good win. There were some great goals in that game as well. Yeah. So, you know, there, there was passages of play that I thought were very exciting, and, and you yeah. know, and, and the signs were there. If we could do it, as you say, regularly and consistently, yeah. but do it over the 90 minutes. So Favourite goal? It's hard to say because there were so many that I thought were quality goals this season, but I think last week and Christensen here, when he ran from... The penalty area. Yeah. I think it was a corner we were defending, if I remember right. Certainly defending in his own box. Yeah, I remember that. And then that ended up sprinting, playing the one two. Give the keep the old mince yeah. pies as a as near Christmas time as well. So I've been told it was a, it was oh, quite it was a good point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that was a great goal. Yeah. You know, Ross scored a few few good goals, didn't he? Blinding strikes. He's got a hell of a strike. As well, him, you know, yeah. couple of uh, worldies. Bodgerov scored a really uh, clever finish yeah. here as well. You know, but so there was. I thought there was some real quality goals, and there was some real quality football. The potential is there. If we can get a few key additions to the squad, you know, who knows? Who knows what can happen next season? But uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'll be starting a lot more optimistic. Last season, the start of last season, I think it, it was pretty apparent that uh, we, we weren't going to mount a challenge. I, I thought yeah. mid table was about the best we could hope for. And after the awful start, staying yeah, I know. I thought, I thought to myself, what have I let myself in for here? Because the first few games were. It was hard work, to yeah. be honest. When they the Millwall game was hard you, you work. You couldn't see a win coming, getting, could you? Getting used to doing the commentary as well. It was like and just losing week in. Help me out here, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> elbowing him. <laughs> <laughs> help yeah. me out here. What I'm going to say? Yeah. No. Because it's horrible, isn't it? To be yeah. honest, when you're not playing well, when you're getting beat, it's not much fun doing the commentary. Yeah, because I think the fans know you can't really say, yeah, we played really well, blah blah blah. But no, you can't dress it up, and, and we weren't playing well, and you couldn't see a win coming. To be fair, I, I was. Yeah. I actually was thought we were looking at relegation. So I think when, yeah. when Kit come in and people forget, all right, you know, well, I know we had that dip, but in the end we, we were 11 points clear of third from bottom. Yeah. And we finished above, you know, there was plenty of managers being touted for the job who took over at other clubs. Bolton, and we, we, we finished above, did we finish, we finish, finish above Bolton, we finished above Reading, we finished above Brighton. So there you got Neil Lennon, Steve Clark, Chris Hewton, were all people that were yeah. bandied yeah. up for the job, you know, and they had more experience and they were more likely candidates, if you like, than yeah. Kit. And they all finished below us. Well, they weren't below us when he took over, were they? Because we, we were rock bottom. Yeah. So, you know, I think uh, people overlook it. It was very difficult. And, and, and Kit said himself it was a difficult season, you know, and it wasn't enjoyable. And and we kind of limped over the line in the yeah, end. Yeah, I think in the end, I think we, we, we ended up and we brought Matt Smith in, didn't we? Yeah, and it we, made a big difference. But I, I, I think, yeah, it, it, it was a good thing. It wasn't long ball, but it was a different option for us. I felt 
if the football wasn't going well, there wasn't always a plan B, was there? There wasn't like that diagonal Smith knock it down one yeah. two. Because yeah. at the beginning of the season, I thought well, when K- Roddy Yeager and Ross played quite well together. They linked up quite yeah. well. They, yeah, yeah. they always done that over step over one one two and all that. Because I prefer Ross when he's in the centre. I think under McGaffey was wide left, even though he does tend yeah, he to, to he go on the left to, to cut yeah. inside with his right <laughs> foot because we all know he can do it. But him and Rod Yeager at one stage were looking like yeah, a deadly really partnership. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then I think Hugo got injured as well, didn't he? Yes, he did, yeah. And then he went off the boil a little bit. And uh, But then Matt Smith, is, as you say, towards the end of the season, so I don't think we'll struggle for goals. You know, Brian Ruiz might, might well still be involved. And, you know, he's got a couple of lovely goals. They had yeah. down here at the, at the Hammersmith then, was it? Mm-hmm. You know, so we've still got, we've got quality in the side, in the squad. And if we can add a few to it, you know, I think I do think, but as I say, with the fact that we we finished 11 points clear of relegation at the end, it, I mean, certainly it's far better than going into the last game of the season needing a result. You know, and that was a horrible. Yeah. All right, we did it last time round. It was great to to do it. Yeah, but well, you know, Hud- Huddersfield was probably an entertaining game. Obviously, I I wasn't there. Talk us through that game because that had everything. I, by all accounts, we didn't oh, even batters, play that. Best. Yeah, I mean that was that was the exception to the rule, wasn't it? We got far more than we deserved. I think. I mean, scored first minute or barely into the second minute straight, yeah. straight from a corner and then we scored in the 90 second I think it was Fafana's only goal two penalty save was it a penalty save or yeah one at the post he saved the first one didn't he and the second one I think it post or went wide or it missed two penalties but they basically battered us to be yeah. fair for but we needed minutes. that little bit of luck because there was a few games that everything was going against us like deflected goals going in and yeah all and season when we would say on, well when you're down there you, you the luck it always goes against you but that was one of the games and that was a massive win I think yeah that and it was win. great for the fans because I did feel for the, the away fans this season because I was trying to think you know how many of the away games were enjoyable and with no disrespect to the lads or, or, or the club at all I mean very very few you know they, they weren't but the fans kept turning out and that was a great moment when Fafana he hadn't scored at that yeah. stage it was his first goal he hit the post with the first one didn't he he went through yeah. it, hit the post and then put the rebound away and I remember him going celebrating with the fans and that was a lovely moment. It's a bit like when Hugo scored up at Aston Villa the, the, the yeah. previous season. It was just a lovely moment between the player and the fans. But they were few and far between. But in history, even I remember when I was playing, we didn't tend to get that many away victories. No, it's difficult, I suppose, unless you're, you know, clearly the better sort of the year we won yeah. the championship where you're we were without being rude, yeah. shoulders above everybody else. But in most divisions, unless you're one of the top two or three yeah, clubs, sure, yeah. you're not gonna get but I mean they haven't even been Good game, Sean. That's the thing, you know. Yeah. New grounds to go to, and they, you know, there's been a few, and we've had a few wins. You know, we have had a few wins, but not. They haven't been great games. There hasn't been too many magic moments. Wolves in the FA Cup in the blizzard, and the penalty shootout and all that was, was yeah. very dramatic. Corley had a good game that day, didn't he? Scored yeah, got a lovely header. header. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a very lovely good goal. goal. And that's what I say. There's been some good goals when, when you when you think back. Yeah. Most players who scored a goal or two, they've been uh, Sean Kavanagh's goal, as I say. Yeah. Great strike, yeah. yeah. I remember the left-footed strike yeah. low across the keeper. I remember, I remember one of the moments where we didn't sc- uh, score. I think it was Brighton at home where the right foot Sean Kavanagh, yeah, he's cut Cruyffed inside and then he's whipped it with his right foot and there you go, Stockdale, yeah, ex player coming back. Yeah, yeah. Probably MOM that day, wouldn't he? Yeah, so there's he a few it, yeah, games where the keepers have done well against that's us. What, I mean, Sean, I think he's a he's another talented young player, and I think that's what we've got to be very careful. Some of the fans have, been, I think, been overly critical of some of the youngsters. And, and forgetting how young they are and how many games they've yeah. had. Even Staffelidis, he's a young lad as well. He's a young he? lad, yeah, and he got he got a lot of stick. And, and Kavanaugh, you know, so he's not good enough. He's not this, that, and I think he is. Yeah, I, I, you can I, always mean, got, I feel you can always tell good opponents how they pass the ball and how much time they get in there. He always seems comfortable. Yeah, on the he's ball. comfortable on the ball with both feet. And, and he he had a uh, he was injured for quite a while before he made his debut. Yeah. So yeah. he was playing catch up. But he'll get but he'll get physically stronger. He'll get, better, he'll yeah. get more experience. He's certainly for me got got the and I think all the youngsters have got the ability to, yeah. to make the grades. You know, I think we've got to give them time. And the same with Kit when you think about it. Kit has had three quarters of a season as a full time manager. Yeah. And he, he made mistakes. He would have learned a lot from it, wouldn't yeah, he? Yeah, he would have done it. Lot. But he's you know Everything he did was for the right reasons, as far as I'm I didn't necessarily always agree with the team selection, didn't agree necessarily with the tactics. You know, we've all got our own opinion, we could, we'd all choose our own team. But he did everything for the right reason. And ultimately, yeah. as I say, having been rock bottom when he took over, you yeah, know. You snapped your hand off, wouldn't you? Everyone yeah, would have taken it. People if they said you would finish 11 they? points clear of, of third from bottom. Yeah, of course you would. Of course you'd have taken it. And, it's, and he will have learned, as you say. And I think, you know, young man, young manager. Knows the club, loves the club. Yeah, talks sense, he's honest. You know, is he a bloke you want associated? Is he a, a guy you would like to, as the manager of the club? Of course he is. Yeah, because people forget 
obviously, and I know McGaffer did a bad start, but there seemed to be a kind of black cloud over the, over oh. the club. You know, everyone horrible. was coming into the game, it was down, and then as soon as Kit took over, regardless of whether he won the game, first game he was here or not, the whole stadium, the whole club as a whole seemed to be lifted. Yeah. So I think it and was. And people forget that. You know, doing a bad, bad couple of months. I mean, out of, say, seven months or whatever it was he was in charge, five of them we, we probably did all right. We did okay. It was a couple yeah. of months. Probably February and March, I think it was, where we didn't do very well, you know, yeah. we struggled and we had a run of defeats and we, we were getting drawn into it, but that's bound to happen. Yeah, there were a lot change. of young players as well. It, it, yeah. As a young player, the main thing is consistency, so that's that's what you yeah. strive to be and you don't get that straight away, and especially in this league, it's a tough league, yeah. so to play Saturday, Tuesday, get that consistency and it takes time and I think with a year behind our belt, getting in the right players, I think, going forward, it, it, Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have a more fun up here. Because yeah, I think yeah, sometimes it was difficult. Oh, we, it was hard, I think yeah. most of the fun we had was uh, abusing the referees <laughs> at some point because we had some bad referees here. Yeah, I, I, yeah, we had some shockers. We did have some shockers, and that didn't help. You know, yeah. did, I don't think over over the, they say things even themselves out. I don't, I don't believe that because I don't see why that yeah. would happen. But I think we had some decisions that didn't. I mean, Hugo's goal at uh, Millwall yeah. ruled out for offside, and that was a fairly crucial time the, as the well. Goal at Charlton, yeah. Yeah. That went against us, didn't it? That we had yeah. a goal couldn't disallow, didn't we? Well, then no, their goal was offside. Yeah, Miles. Yeah, well, Miles offside. Yeah. Yeah. And then and they had one ruled out when Hugo scored at Millwall. Yeah. So I think over the course That's of the season, four that didn't help. So you look at the injuries. You look at there was a lot of reasons why it was difficult to get that continuity and that consistency. Yeah. And as I say, with, with with a new manager coming in and walking into that sort of situation, I mean Roy Hodgson's one of the best managers in in Europe, but it still took him. You know, he struggled in that first season because he walked into something that. He yeah. wasn't party to. He hadn't, you know, he hadn't created the problem, but he had to sort it out, and he only just about did it. Let's not forget. Yeah. And I'm not saying for one minute that Kit's as good a manager as Roy Hodgson because he's not, but he could be. Yeah, of course. You know, yeah. in 10, 15 years' time, he's probably as good a manager as, as Roy Hodgson was after six months. Yeah, for sure, definitely. You know? So definitely. I think you know we need to start the season. Everyone getting behind, the, the, pop, going in the right direction. Let's get a few signings in. I think everyone's craving a, a few new faces. We don't want wholesale changes. So you don't like last time. You don't want to ship the whole squad out and replace it. You can't keep doing that every season. But if we can get the right five or six players in, key players yeah. in key positions, keep the youngsters coming through, steer clear of injuries. Hopefully a bit because last season we, you know Tim Woodland and. and the more Ebieta and people like that, just as they were starting to yeah, to become the key parts of the and Lass as well and, and Lass, yeah, time. out for a long time. What, trying to obviously we speak about favourite goals, favourite games. I think my favourite game probably would have been the the last game of the season, the four three at Middlesbrough. That was a fantastic Great game, game yeah. with Ross going around the goalkeeper. Yeah. One in, even though I always predict us to win two one, we were two one up and then conceding goals, but. Worst game for you? I, I think I know what it is. It's got to well, be Brentford at home. Yeah, it was a good Friday, mate. Yeah, it was a, obviously it was, they've had a great season. You, you, you know, they, you, there's no two ways about that. They've done very well. Having just come up, I thought the manager was was terrific. They played some decent football and, and they had a good go. They did very well to get in the playoffs. But obviously, from our point of view, you know, you don't. We've got to be looking that. to finish above them next season. Yeah, surely you don't want to be. A I, I, I will go and say and say that we are a massive, much bigger <laughs> club than Brentford. I know, I know, you got a bit of stick for saying that, but it's the truth. I think it's the truth. They've well, had a great the season. Oh, it is the truth. They're, yeah. they're, just, let's, let's remember, they're, they're a better that, team than us. This they've had season. that uh, momentum of winning. Yeah, you know, exactly. that, once you get that winning mentality, yeah, it yeah, keeps yeah. going. We've had the losing mentality, so it's it's a, it's kind of come with us since the Premier League. You know, first season in the Championship, that mentality is still there, and obviously, with new manager as well. They've had that winning mentality, so they, they were bound to do well. They, they, they've done better than I expected. Yeah, but they and, will, they but will be the in, first fixtures. And when I say, "Oh, when have we got Brentford?" Yeah. When have we got Brentford at home? I think most of the fans. QPR are, as well. Yeah, Q- I don't think that's ever happened. Certainly not in my lifetime. The, the yeah, three of us QPR. In the same looks, yeah, look forward to QPR as well. So does home and away. So. Yeah. So, but but I think with even the Brentford game, as you mentioned that one, you know, it's uh, that kind of summed it up. Because going into injury time, it, it was only two one. Yeah. You know, and you all right? We I don't think we ever deserved to win that game. I'll be honest. But if we'd have lost two one, you'd have taken that. And yeah. then we go into two minutes or three minutes to stop his time, and we let in another two, you know, and that was, yeah. we just seemed to be doing that all season. We couldn't seem to defend when it really mattered. Yeah, I think the, disappoint, one the disappointing one was obviously with obviously Kip being the centre half as well, the amount of goals we conceded from corners. corners. Yeah, yeah. Frightening, to be honest. 
Yeah, we used to, even free kicks, I'm, I think I made the mistake of, I think one free kick, I think Jermaine Pennant scored. I went, oh, you don't want, you better be careful here because he's, yeah. he's got a good right foot yeah. and he ended up scoring. <laughs> and I, I thought, I'm not going to say that again. Well, I've got to have a word with it because I've got an idea that for next year. I think for all corners and free kicks, we should just line everybody up on the goal line. <laughs> just everybody, put a goalkeeper in front of them and put the other 10 on the goal line and yeah. I, I think we'd keep them out. I, no, personally, I'm not I, sure whether yeah, you can do that or not. But. I, I'm, I'm sure they they practice at pieces, and it, it's just moments in the game. I think where we let ourselves down, just players switching off. Yeah, yeah. just that. And often the first corner of the game, wasn't it? I mean, that must yeah. have happened four or five times. Yeah, you know, headers, free headers from the first corner of the game, and you've got to, you it's know, it's uphill battle. You go one nil down. It's like, phew. yeah, yeah, because once we went behind, as I said before, very rarely did we come back. Yeah. You know, we threatened to in a lot of games, but we hardly ever overturned a, a result once we'd gone behind. Yeah. And it is difficult, as you say, because teams will shut up shop, you know, and it's very hard to break. Well, team, team, look, look at the pitch, look at the stadium. Teams, they don't want to come here and play. The history of this club, it's a big pitch, you can come and can play. I think we need to start making this a fortress again. You know, I think when we obviously go back to the Premier League, Premier years. The reason why we stayed in the, the division for so long is because the home record. The home record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were a force here, and I think we need to get back to that. And I think you win your home games and you take a chance away from home. Yeah, because with the players we've got and the the, the fact that we can score goals, we've got that bit of quality in the side. That there's always a goal in there. Yeah. Away from home, we we will pick up sufficient amount of points. I think. Yeah. yeah. We didn't do that bad. The points tally wasn't that that bad this season. There was no great performances, I don't think. As I say, no particularly brilliant games. Well, not Forest, but it was great. But, you know, you don't yeah. want to be scoring three and letting in five. You know, it's... Yeah. But, was uh, that the game before uh, we was, made the change? Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah. And then Blackburn, we lost. But, uh, to be fair, to Kit, you know, he took over. And yeah, I think Jordan Rose scored, didn't touch the ball. Yeah, yeah, he didn't, his he goal didn't, didn't, didn't do nothing was, during the game, did he? No. He, but he doesn't need to, does he? No, he'll, he'll stick it scoring there. goals, yeah. But scoring, I don't think... Scoring goals is our problem. No, it's not. It's no, it's obviously, not. conceding goals, and Thank that you. comes from, like we said, oh, I think a strong, experienced spine down the side, the goalkeeper, centre half, centre mid. Yeah. If you look at the, all the teams, uh, our, well, when we got promoted, we had Mike Taylor in goal, a lot of experience there. You had, I should say this, but three of the old fogies at the back, your Cookie, Kit, Melv, even Simon Morgan. Yeah. And that's a lot of experience. Not much legs in the team in them, but <laughs> a lot of experience dragging yeah, yeah. people here and there. Then you had Lee Clark, experience won the league. Then you had Barry Howes up front, been in all the leagues. Mm. So that down that spine, and then everyone else kind of peeled off. You had Finn and yeah, quality, yeah. yeah. So with these young players, you get that spine. You can have such, I don't know, look, Roberts on the on the right or the left. Yeah, Williams. Uh, Williams. Yeah. You got Hyman. Yeah. So much that a Corley up front, Dembele up front. Yeah. Uh, Sean Kavanagh, all these young players yeah. can learn off these experienced pros. They watch the way they train, they watch the way they eat, they watch the, con the way they conduct us. That's what I did. I, I looked at people like Lee Clark who came into the club and it was like, wow, this guy's professional, works his socks off, training oh, off the good. pitch. Yeah, and you just stuff. learn from it. You just you take to someone. I took to him and he helped me during my career. Obviously, I'm not surprised he's gone on to, to be a manager, even though he's not got a club at the moment. But... That was one player, yeah, yeah. Player and it's getting the balance right, isn't yeah, it? Hopefully, yeah. trusting Kit in the recruitment, get the balance right, and then have a have an enjoyable. Even say it that if people say to me, "What are your ambitions for next season?" It's got to be as high as possible for me. I, do I think we're going to win the league next season? No. Would I would I want us to go on a good run and you know get in the playoffs, go up like that? Yeah, of course I would. I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. It has to. Be be better than last season, half, yeah. Top half minimum, I think. I with, think, yeah. Play, a, a I think playoff, push. playoff yeah. for me, yeah. playoff minimum. I know people might say, "Are oh, you crazy?" After the season we had, but the players we got, I just feel if we can add right and bring in the right players, I think we could go far. Yeah, definitely. And it would, how, how good would that be? Get, going on a, a good run and getting in the playoffs. You know, maybe even going to Wembley, being a part. Look at all the buzz now on Nor Norwich and Middlesbrough yeah, fans going yeah. to Wembley. Yeah, yeah. I am going to ask you because obviously if I wasn't here you might give a different answer but obviously you've been doing this for what 55 years no, <laughs> 50, 15 years now on your, on, on, your, on, your, on, your, on your own so you have to kind of review my season on the home games give your honest opinion 
even though we are great yeah, mates no, and you're a top fella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's so it been like? What's it been like with me up here? Oh, it's been great. Yeah, no, it's lovely with me, Sean. Obviously, yeah. you know, going back to the, uh, you know, the championship winning season. You know, you'll always be a Fulham hero yeah. to, to me and, and to all Fulham fans that were there. I mean, a couple of wonderful moments that never to be forgotten moments, and you know, and they revolved around yourself. So. To, to find you standing next to me up here on the gantry was yeah. uh, a, a, a massive surprise. It wasn't something we'd, we'd stopped, yeah, discussed sure. beforehand, and it was lovely. Yeah, I mean to be to be up here with uh, I think once long long time ago, Morgs did one game with me, and that and that was great for I mean to have a, a Fulham player yeah. and a real Fulham legend involved, great for me. Yeah, it's, I was I was, I was nervous obviously doing it, but Jim kind of takes the reins and you kind of we kind of bounced off each other early doors so it, it was I good we had, we had we tried to have a laugh and a joke and, and on all seriousness sometimes you can't really have a laugh and a joke when the, the team started off so poorly but yeah when when it's when it was going well i think we yeah oh, it's we very enjoyable it. yeah, we had yeah a laugh i, I and a thoroughly joke. enjoyed it and it, having you there made it more enjoyable to be honest from, from my point of view nothing yeah. else it, it was nice to see you because yeah. you know, <laughs> the game i mean it's always hurtful you know when the other team score or when you've played badly and it's you're getting beat again and again there's nothing enjoyable about having to relay that to people but, yeah. but that's what you're there for but I thoroughly enjoyed it because it's nice to have the, the second pair of eyes I think obviously it's always difficult to, to see things we don't always get replays so I don't know if I've mentioned that at all. yeah I know the, the, the replays didn't come uh, to and it makes, between, it, it, did they? but people need to be aware you know you, when you watch football nowadays modern day football where you're watching on Sky or wherever you're watching it there's so many replays you do get to see you know a perfect view ultimately from, yeah. from whatever angle of virtually every incident and if you're not getting it if you're watching it in real time to, to really yeah. be sure what happened is, is difficult but to have two sets of eyes yeah. I think and also obviously having a player that you know you're far more uh, analytical you know you're you're going to pick up on tactics and, and uh, formations and stuff much more than I would you know, and to get a, a, a pro's view on it, I think I'm sure the fans have enjoyed it. Yeah, no, it's, for me, it's, it's been, uh, I've enjoyed it more than I thought I would actually. I really enjoyed coming to the home games. It's good to still be involved at the club, to come back. You do every, it's, it's such a great view. And when the sun's out, it's perfect. Uh, it did get a bit cold up here. I did have to put three or four <laughs> pairs of socks on at one point. Yeah. <laughs> it was, and we didn't seem to have too many Saturday home games, which was which was a bit bizarre. We seemed to play Friday night a lot of times. Yeah, there was a, a few night games. Yeah, it was nice to be here at like any stadium. I think it's it's great under the lights and at night. But as you say, it, it can get a bit cold up here. Some of the away games, and I know you you know you're not at those. The thing in the, the away stadiums is quite often if you're on the TV gantry, if you're in the press box, normally it's fine. Nine times out of ten, it's around the halfway line. And maybe halfway up yeah. the stand, you know. But if you're on the TV gantry, generally speaking, you're hanging down from the roof, and obviously at some of the stadiums, they're, they're so big and so high that you're miles from the pitch. You know, yeah. it's, it's an awful view. Whereas our, even though we're on the TV gantry, the the height and the position of it is oh, just yeah. perfect. Oh Pem Pembridge was up here. Yeah, every always up, first yeah, half always all, up here. Always up here, and you know. Much better view for for a coach isn't it, or a manager up here than, than uh, yeah. He'd always come and shake our hands as we were speaking. So yeah, was a, totally, yeah. <laughs> he's got a well yeah. handshake on him as well, Pem. He's a yeah. He's a bit of a bit of a pit bull, isn't he? But <laughs> yeah. like I say, he comes up here because because such a great view and he can see everything from from afar. Yeah, it is a it is yeah. a wonderful view. And but as you say, the pitch and the stadium. Well, it's just lovely being up here, but it's far more enjoyable well, when you're I, playing I well and winning. Did get told that he was a bit biased towards Fulham and, and the referees. I didn't didn't believe it until oh, after the third or fourth game. <laughs> <laughs> but but then I kind of got dragged into that as well because oh, yeah. I was seeing some of the refereeing decisions. I thought I've got to try and stay neutral. But then I thought to myself, why am I staying neutral? I pay for the club for a certain amount of years. Yeah. I've I've got to say it. I'll see it. And some of the some of the decisions that they well, made. I remember one of the the lines when he was only about three foot tall, wasn't he? <laughs> 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 and we we're trying not to laugh on it. But uh, yeah, no, but there was a few shockers. <laughs> yeah. and I, maybe I appeal, but I think generally speaking, it. If I see it again and, it, and it's it's not on, then I'll admit I don't yeah, think I'm biased at all. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I really don't. I, I think you are. <laughs> I think you are. And I also got blamed for a lot of stuff you kept shouting out <laughs> in the background. Uh, yeah, I and know, they say, oh, you went mad, you were just shouting, ooh, ah. And and it wasn't me, it was you. Yeah, no, I know. I did get you into a, a bit of trouble last season. But yeah. no, it was all fun and games. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, Overall, it's been a good experience for myself. I'd have much preferred it if the team would have got a few more results at home, but 
like I say, we have to stay positive, take the positives out of last season, yeah. onwards and upwards. Hopefully, you know, next season we'll, we'll get maybe a little bit more shelter. They'll, they'll bring us some food and <laughs> a few coffees up. And nice coffee, you, yeah. You know what I mean? Even maybe get a lift up here. or just Because, you, know, you know... I'll, chairlift would be anyway. Yeah, 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 chairlift for you. Because, yeah. you know... <laughs> If you're going to run down and do the uh, crossbar the challenge it, again, it, it is a great view. You can breathe half an hour. It's that. not easy getting up and down here when you get to my yeah. age, to be fair, and the gout's playing up. But and, and maybe next season I can even go for the old uh, November. The Billy the Badger? Yeah, because you produced a decent oh. one. Yeah, it was it was heroic. And he turned up to one of the games to show me, and I was oh, ill. I kept, <laughs> it on. I kept it on for an extra week, mate. <laughs> Well, we do do it? well not to try and swear on now. I know it should say that. Yeah, yeah you've got to be very careful, <laughs> and it ain't easy. And it certainly wasn't easy last season when when you're performing like that. But yeah. that's what I say. If, if we get off to a good start next season, and the place is buzzing, and everyone's behind the, the manager, and, the, and we're all pulling the right direction, getting that bounce back here and in the cottage. And we're at home, you know, Boxing Day, so you don't have to do the, the travelling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, because well, the. They're mad sometimes. Uh, Boxing Day and New Year's Day, they, they come up with ridiculous stuff. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, plenty of home games. Two West London derbies to, yeah. to look forward to. Plenty of points to be taken from them, hopefully. And uh, But it is, you will find, Sean, and you didn't have it too often. As we, yeah. we've already mentioned, maybe Bolton, Sheffield, Wednesday, Charlton. Three or four really enjoyable nights here, weren't they? Or, or yeah, really mid- Middlesbrough last game of the season, which yeah. was a bit was of a great. roller coaster. Yeah. But, but to, it, to get the, a very good yeah, game to, to watch. Yeah, to get the late one. But you will find, as, as, as I do, that... There's no two ways, but you know, if we're playing well when we're winning, yeah. then the whole thing's twice as enjoyable. All in all, Sean, I think you know, as we say, disappointing season. You can't. It, it, there's no point in uh, in calling it anything other than it. it's been a disappointing couple of seasons, and it was hard work, but it was still ultimately joy. It was still lovely to come and watch. Oh it. yeah, look, look at the view we've got. It's, it's the, I think it's the best view in the ground. We can see everything. It's great f- from up here. You know, when the team's doing well. So if we can get back up here next year, please God, fingers crossed. And I think, you know, things can only get better, you know, yeah, the only definitely. way is up. And I think, I'd, you know, relatively optimistic. I mean, certainly got to be a better season than last season. Oh, that's a fine. <laughs> that's 15 quid in the day. You <laughs> saw me turn it off. <laughs> what is going on here? It's the same people. Brooksy, that's a fine. It's a joke. I, I turned it off, didn't I? <laughs> How can it ring? <laughs>